Wednesday morning, the community lost not only a great, hardworking deputy, but a man who brought smiles to faces no matter where he was. Jackie was a, was a great guy. He was a, a good, very good deputy. He went above and beyond. You know, he volunteered for us. He went above and beyond what we asked him to do. And, you know, anytime we called upon him, you know, he was there to answer. And loved his family, uh, loved his community, loved, loved his county, you know. And, you know, he's, he's going to be hard to replace. Not only did Jackie love his job, but he loved being out in his community. From attending sporting events at Belfry to attending church, Jackie was considered family no matter where he went or who he met. That's the type of uh, people we look for, you know, good, uh, good people, uh, good community people. You know, Jackie was always at uh, Belfry football game, basketball game, uh, girls basketball, softball, it didn't matter, you know, Jackie was around close all the time and, you know, and everybody loved him. And Shea Deskins, Jackie's granddaughter, says that Jackie served in the Army National Guard and was a retired coal miner. Apart from working hard, his life revolved around his family. After serving nearly seven years with the Pike County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Scott says the department morale just won't be the same without Jackie. So tell me one thing to, uh, maybe a memory of Jackie, something that just stands out that it's like, oh, that's, that's classic Jackie. Oh, there's, there's so many, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, like I said, he was, he was always uh, wanting to cut up and, you know, it didn't matter. It didn't matter what it was, you know. You know, you knew when you saw him coming, you know, he, he was gonna make you laugh. Jackie Deskins passed away Wednesday morning after a long battle with health complications. Jackie leaves behind his wife of 52 years, Donna Deskins, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Visitation will be Friday, August 20th from 6 until 9 p.m. at Rogers Funeral Home in Belfry, Kentucky. Funeral service will begin Saturday, August 21st at 10 a.m., and the burial will follow afterwards at the Blackburn Family Cemetery in Sydney, Kentucky. You know, he's going to be, he's going to be missed really bad. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.